Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Windows 10 on VirtualBox. So those of you who don't know what is VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a tool which allows you to run different operating system virtually on VirtualBox. So let's say I have installed VirtualBox on my Windows 10 operating system and I want to uh, run another Windows operating system uh, on VirtualBox, I can do this using this VirtualBox, right? So uh, everything will work virtually inside your host operating system. In this case, Windows 10 operating system is also my host operating system. And I want to install Windows 10 on my uh, VirtualBox. So the most important thing you should have to install Windows 10 on VirtualBox is the Windows 10 ISO file. So uh, you may have bought the Windows 10 ISO file from a valid website or if you just want to evaluate the Windows 10 operating system to check whether Windows 10 operating system is the operating system you want to have and later purchase it, then you can also uh, download the evaluation version of Windows 10 operating system for 90 days. So in these 90 days, you can uh, just evaluate Windows 10 operating system. So if you want to uh, download the evaluation version of Windows 10 operating system for 90 days, then just search for Microsoft Evaluation Windows 10. And the first link which will appear here will be from Microsoft.com. So I'm going to just click on this link. Most probably I will uh, provide this link in the description of this video also. And then here you will be able to see uh, these options. One is ISO uh, Enterprise, other is ISO LTSE. I'm going to choose ISO Enterprise here. You can see it's only available for 90 days. So 90 days are enough to evaluate and test uh, your Windows operating system and then you can decide whether you want to buy it or not. So I'm going to just click on continue here and here you need to provide all the information about yourself and about your company. So in the company, if you don't have any company, you can mention here and then your job title and your phone number. So provide all the valid information here. And when you click on the continue button, uh, you will be able to download this Windows 10 ISO file. Uh, which is the evaluation version of Windows 10 ISO file. So after you have downloaded this ISO file, uh, which is the evaluation version, it's going to look like this. And at the end, it has the extension ISO. So once you have downloaded this file, let me show you the size also. So, so it's around 4.5 GB file. So it will take some time to download. So once you have downloaded this file, you are ready to uh, install Windows 10 on your virtual box. So here we are going to create a new device by clicking on the new button here. And then you can see in the type, the type is Microsoft Windows. If it's not selected by default, you can choose it from uh, this list. And then in the version, you can choose uh, which version of uh, Windows you want to install. In our case, we want to install Windows 1064 bits. So just click on this option. And then you can also give the name to your Windows operating system. So I'm going to just uh, right uh, windows uh, 10 here and this will be the location where your virtual machine will be saved so if uh, you are good with this uh, location then it's okay and if you want to change this location then you can click on others and then go to the location where you want to save this virtual machine okay and then click on save right and you can see the location is changed now i'm going to just click on next here you can choose the memory size. So I generally go up to the green mark limit. So until here, it depends on your uh, host operating system, uh, how much amount of memory it allows you to provide, right? Then click next. And here in the hard disk, just leave everything as default. By default, it selected create a virtual hard disk now. So I'm going to just click on create and now here I have uh, this window which says hard disk file type. So I'm going to choose the first option which is VDI which is virtual disk image and then click on next. And on the next window I have the storage on physical hard drive. So uh, 
I generally like to use the dynamically allocated. If you want to learn what is dynamically allocated or the fixed hard disk size, you can read more about this here also. Okay, so I will recommend you to choose this dynamically allocated option here and then click on next. And then here you can choose the file location where your uh, virtual uh, machine file will be saved. And also you can choose the hard disk size. Okay, so if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default. And then you can also choose this uh, hard disk size. Let's say I'm going to choose approximately 100 GB for me and then I'm going to click on create. Now, once you click on create, this Windows 10 virtual machine will be created. But still, don't start this virtual machine. What you need to do is you need to select this Windows 10 virtual machine from here and then click on settings. And then in the general settings, what you need to do is just go to the advanced settings and then click on the bi-directional option for both shared clipboard and drag and drop. So this bi-directional option for these both uh, shared clipboard and drag and drop will allow you to copy and paste uh, the files from your host machine to your virtual machine bi-directionally, right? And also it will allow you to drag and drop files from one uh, host to the another host, right? And then I will leave all the other things as default. Now I will click on the system here you have the chance to once again uh, adjust your base memory. In the processor, by default, VirtualBox will uh, allocate one CPU to your virtual machine, but you can change it to, let's say, uh, to the green limit, up to the green limit here, and then uh, you will be uh, good to go, right? So right now I'm using four CPU processors for my virtual machine, okay? Now I'm going to click on the display. In the display, you don't need to change anything. In the storage, what you need to do is you need to click on the empty uh, option here. And then what you need to do is you need to click on the CD option. So just click on this uh, CD option and then click on choose a disk file. Okay, so click on choose a disk file and then choose the location where you have downloaded your Windows 10. So I'm going to just copy the location where I have downloaded this Windows 10 ISO file and then select this ISO file which you have downloaded from the Microsoft official website or you have bought this uh, ISO file from some valid uh, seller, right? So once you see this file on your uh, storage, you can see here you will be able to see this file right once you do this the other settings uh, you can leave them as default you can change those settings at any time in the later stage also just click on ok here and once you click on ok you are ready to start your windows 10 installation so just select windows 10 and then click on start here and the first window which will appear here will be uh, like this so from here you need to choose the Windows 10 ISO file, okay? So because I have uh, more than uh, uh, one ISO file, so I'm going to choose this file, which is Windows 10 ISO file, which uh, is the same name as this file name, which I have downloaded in the ISO file, okay? So make sure this is uh, the Windows 10 ISO file name, and then click on start. And you can see the installation process has been started. So now I can see uh, this window here. You can choose a language in which you want to install Windows 10. So by default, it's uh, English United States. So I will leave it as default. Also, you can choose the time and currency format. I will uh, leave it as English United States, but you can choose any uh, other uh, time and currency format. And for the keyboard, I'm going to choose the German keyboard because I have the German keyboard uh, layout on my laptop so let me just choose uh, the german keyboard layout and this is the keyboard layout you will have on your laptop or on your keyboard okay so you can choose the language time and currency and keyboard input method then click on next here and then click on install now so you can see setup is starting now 
Now on the next window, you will see uh, the agreement license terms and conditions window. So you can read all these license terms and conditions. And if you agree with them, you can just check this checkbox, which says I accept the license terms and then click on next. Now here on the next window, you will see which type of installation do you want? First is upgrade install windows and key files settings and application. Second is install Windows 10 only. So I'm going to choose the second one, which is the install Windows 10 only option. Now under the second window, you will see this option, which says, where do you want to install Windows? Just leave it as default. If you want, you can uh, create a new uh, drive also, but I generally leave it as default and then click on the next uh, button. And now the installation of Windows will uh, start here. You can see these are the stages. So uh, you need to wait for all the stages to be finished. So now the stages are finished and automatically I can see the next window here. And now the Windows 10 is starting. And after some time I can see this window. So again, you need to just wait for some time. So the installation might take some time for the completion. Now on this next window, I can see uh, this uh, window which says let's uh, start with the region is this uh, right. So I'm going to just choose uh, United States from here, but you can choose any other region uh, of uh, your choice from this list. And I'm going to just click on yes. And now uh, you can choose the keyboard again. So is this the right keyboard layout? So again, I'm going to choose the German keyboard layout because I have the German keyboard layout. So I'm going to choose this one and then click on yes. And now it says want to add second keyboard layout. If you want to add second keyboard layout, you can click on add or otherwise you only want to have one keyboard layout, then click on skip. And now on this next window, uh, you will be prompted to sign in with your Microsoft account. So if you have any Microsoft account, you can give your uh, Microsoft account uh, email ID here. Or otherwise, if you don't have any Microsoft account and if you don't want to uh, log in with your uh, Microsoft account, you can choose uh, this option, which says uh, domain join instead. So I'm going to choose this option, which says domain join instead. And here you need to give the name of your PC. So I'm going to give the name CB in my case. You can choose any name for your PC and then click on next. And now you can give the login password to your Windows 10 operating system. So I'm going to choose a simple password for now. And then I'm going to confirm this password and then click on next. And now I have to uh, give three uh, security question answers. So what was your first pet name? For example, I'm going to just write uh, bingo and then click on next. You will be asked to uh, provide the second question answer. So the second question is uh, childhood name. So I'm going to just say, let's say Tom and then the third question. So let's choose. Uh, What's the name of the first school? I will say something and then click on next. And now I can see uh, this window which says do a more access device with activity history. Uh, if you want to do this, you can click on the yes button. So I'm going to click on the yes button. And then you have this option which says uh, get help from your digital assistant. Generally, I decline all these things because I don't want to send any information to uh, Microsoft about my Windows activity. So I just click on decline. And here uh, you can see uh, there are different options you can choose. You have the online speech recognition and location. I also like to just disable everything. So here, because I don't want to send any uh, data to Microsoft, so I just disable everything. But if you are uh, okay with all these options, then you can leave them as default and then click on accept. And now you can see it says, hi, we are getting everything ready for you. This might take several minutes. So at this point, I just need to wait for some more minutes. And now in some time, 
I can see uh, this Windows 10 desktop. So now uh, I have installed uh, successfully Windows 10 on my VirtualBox, right? So you can see Oracle VirtualBox and Windows 10 is running inside Oracle VirtualBox. Now when I click on the maximize button, you can see this window doesn't resize uh, according to the size of my original host desktop size, right? So to solve this problem, what I can do is I can just click on devices here and then click on the insert guest edition CD image. So generally you need to install uh, uh, VirtualBox guest editions on your host machine in order to get the full features of your VirtualBox on your uh, uh, virtual machine, right? So I'm going to just click on install guest edition CD image. And once you click on this option, when you uh, click on the folder explorer, on your uh, virtual uh, machine uh, Windows 10 operating system and then go to the this PC, you will be able to see uh, this CD drive here, okay? So now just click on CD drive uh, for VirtualBox guest editions. And here just click on this option which says VirtualBox uh, Windows edition AMD64. So I'm going to just double click on this and then click on yes. And now I'm going to just click on next and this will be the location. So I'm going to just click on next once again and then click on install, which is going to install the VirtualBox guest editions on my virtual uh, Windows 10. And now at some point you will be asked, would you like to install this device software? I will say yes, install it. And once uh, the VirtualBox guest editions are uh, installed on your virtual machine, uh, you just leave this as default which is reboot now which is going to reboot your Windows 10 operating system so I'm going to just click on uh, finish which is going to start the reboot or restart of my virtual Windows 10 operating system okay so my host operating system is uh, doing nothing my virtual machine virtual Windows operating system is restarting now and now I can see this login window. So I'm going to just uh, log in with my Windows 10 credentials, which I have given. So I will uh, just give the password here for my virtual Windows 10 and then click on submit, which is going to uh, log into my virtual Windows 10 operating system. And now I can see uh, this Windows 10 desktop once again. So now when I just uh, resize my Windows 10 uh, uh, desktop size, you can see it resizes, right? So you can see when I just do like this, it resizes. And when I click on this maximize button, this window is resized according to my uh, host Windows 10 desktop size. So now everything is working. If you want to check whether drag and drop is working, uh, you can also check that. So let me just uh, search for some image. So let's say I have this uh, image, sample image. I'm going to just drag and drop to my virtual machine. And once I do that, you can see this uh, sample.png is copied to my virtual machine desktop. So that drag and drop is working. This drag and drop is working due to the installation of VirtualBox guest editions. Also, if you want to uh, copy and paste some text from your host Windows 10 to your virtual Windows 10, you can do that also. So I'm just opening Edge browser here and you can see internet will also work and I am just copying and pasting this uh, Microsoft website here. You can see uh, I have just copied this uh, website URL from my host Windows 10 to my virtual Windows 10 and then press enter and this copy and paste is working, right? Or let's say I'm going to just uh, copy some text from here and then I'm going to go to my virtual machine, open the notepad from here and then I'm going to paste this text and you can see the copy and paste is working. So this will work bi-directionally. You can also copy from your virtual machine to your host machine also, okay? So this is how you can install Windows 10 on your VirtualBox. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.